What's up everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokey Legends or Pixelmon 1.8 Survival and hello welcome to the po oh hello hello Drake so it uh, looks like we have a spawn NPC there and he's holding a master ball very nice Drake so what I wanted to do in today's episode was find a Sneasel I searched high and low for the past like 20 or so minutes actually I could check hurting likes 25 minutes ago I started searching and I, I come back now saying I found nothing. I, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. So, um, and as you can tell, it says hurting likes. There's actually a reason for this. I just hurt my neck and, uh, I think I pinched a nerve. So a little fun fact, but last time you guys did smash 80 likes uh, or you hit 80 likes on the last episode. So they want to say a big thank you to you all. I'm really appreciative of that. Um, the live stream, unfortunately, was canceled this weekend, but it's going to be reinstated sometime during this week. I do get out of school this week, and I think a lot of you too, a lot of you guys do as well. So hopefully you guys can come and check it out. But we do have a few gifts, all of them a few days old. I want to say a big thank you right off the bat. I love when you guys send me gifts. So it looks like you sent me Dragon Claw and two experience shares. Oh my god, that's actually really good. Just teaching Dragon Claw to someone, uh, that's gonna be really cool. And oh, look at all this stuff. So we have 64 cooked mutton. We have a Moomoo Milk, and I always love Moomoo Milk, his milk tank's epic. We have some Max Revives, we can throw that in there, as well as we do have a few Super Potions. So thank you to Mr. Felix Wolf 69 he did send, send us both of those things. And uh, Creepy Cow said, why not? So, oh, very favorite officer, Creepy Cow. Thank you so much, Ultra Brawls, obviously an essential thing in any Pokemon trainer's inventory, because uh, you never know when you're going to need those, so big thank you to Creepy Cow, and now we have another thing from Creepy Cow, and he did, this shouldn't help you and get a King. enjoy, so thank you again, Creepy Cow, you guys are sending me some awesome stuff right there, and I think I actually don't, or I don't think I actually had a Dawnst or a Dust Stone, uh, so that is very good. That uh, it's something I obviously was going to need in the near future. So let's go run back into my house. Looks like I left the door open so we could close that. And uh, let's set up our chest and we can throw our eight more emeralds in there. So we are really close. Like if you guys get hit 90 likes or so on this episode, I should be able to get a shiny Tyranitar next episode. So that's really hype. I'm really excited for that. Oh, as I yawn, uh, I, I, I could put Dragon Claw in here for now. And we have all these like other miscellaneous blocks that I don't really need right now. I'll put the excess food in here because again, I got to finish my potatoes first. We can put that in there. We want to keep that. Uh, the dye ball, I definitely want to keep on me. The cobblestone we can put in there. Uh, what did I just put in there? I don't know. We got our two covered fossils that we have to get cleaned. So let's make sure to do that. And um, yeah, I think we're good now. So as I said, I unfortunately was unable to find... Oh, I got a heal. Do I have a healer in here? Yeah. I was unfortunately unable to find a snowy biome to get our Sneasel. So, Sneasel spawns in cold taiga. Taiga? Taiga? Yeah, he spawns in a cold taiga. What I did find was a taiga, and what spawns here is actually some Gastlies. So, we're going to go on a little hunt in this episode for some Gastlies, and um, I don't know if, if how abundant they spawn or anything like that, but uh, we don't really hang out in this biome too often, so hopefully we can find some cool Pokemon. Nonetheless, um, looks like there's some Heracross already spawning so uh, i do want to use mr garvador and glade which we did get last episode which was pretty awesome i hope you guys did see that i was pretty happy with how that episode turned out and we do have a level 50 heracross and this is actually quite scary but i can go for a okay or he can make a horn uh <laughs> so we can switch to infernape instead and just go for a flame wheel which oh we do get a burn so we should be set now and we can finish him off with one more of those and we're gonna level up uh who else leveled up um, Scyther. Oh, Scyther leveled up because we can evolve him into a Scizor now. So that's also really awesome. So we'll use our Glade right here and let's see, we'll go for a good fusion. Oh, that's, that's not doing much damage. Um, what am I battling? Going for an ape. He's, oh, what, wait, what is he? I don't know what, ta what moves he's using. Okay, we'll do that. I'll go for a mock punch now, and we should finish him off. He's gonna send us a sand true, and uh, we're gonna finish him off with the flame wheel. We could do another close combat, and uh, he's gonna use a water gun. That hurt a lot. So we'll finish him off with that. Here comes out Houndour, so we definitely want to go for a close combat here. And finally, here comes out Quagsire. I'm gonna go for a close combat. Because oh, he does finish me off though, very sadly. So we can finish him off hopefully with Glade here. And do you remember, Glade is the male version, Garvador being the female version. 
And that is Jazzy. So I, bought, I battled a random Kadabra, well actually the random Kadabra battled me, and I actually learned Slash, which is a pretty good move compared to everything else we have. Um, I gave her, or him rather, a experience share as well, because I was just sitting in my inventory if I figured why not. And um, I keep asking everyone if they know where a, a biome is, a, a cold tie a biome, and nobody seems to know where it is. I kept finding um, snow on Extreme Hills biomes, because I guess it was high up in the air, but I don't know, man. It was, it, it's, I don't know if these are purposely difficult to find. I feel like they're not. I just can't find one. Um, I, I don't know. I looked all over, and uh, yeah, but now we find ourselves in the regular Taiga biome. I think Ghastly's only spawn at night, so we're gonna have to entertain ourselves until then, but that's kind of a good thing, because now we could, uh, have a few uh, of those better balls we have uh, oh we have um dust balls we could use at nighttime so this will be pretty good I'm pretty hyped about that get him online to pay to mango when he's in the snow what okay um so we continue on this way we'll go to the edge of the taiga right here and uh, oh there's another birch forest i think that's where we found um Gallade and stuff oh there's a snorlax <laughs> i haven't seen one of these guys in a while um you know what? Let's go Poopy Tar v Snorlax. I mean, Poopy Tar is the higher level, so he should win. Plus, he's Poopy Tar, or Taram Poopy Tar. Um, let's just go for an earthquake. Yeah, look at that. Look at that damage right there. Let's actually try a rock side. Let's see if that. Oh. <laughs> Poopy Tar is too beastly for the Snorlax. They're on just like completely different levels. So we'll send out the Scyther now. Um, he's going to send out Squirtle. So we'll go for a Razor Wind. And um, actually, maybe I should just. Oh. Whoa, why do you attack twice? We go for an, a slash instead. Uh, and here comes out Drifloom. Oh, we got double team. Not going to learn double team. Um, so we could go for, I guess, slash. I don't know. Does Razor Wind do more than slash? I feel like it doesn't. Did he just flinch me? Rude. It doesn't affect Drifloom? Oh. Why? I didn't know that. Okay, Poopy Tar. Finish off Drip Bloom really quickly, and we'll go for a Rock Slide, which I think is super effective. Yes, it is. Here comes out Quagsire. We'll go for a Crunch, which should just chew through him. Sea King will crunch you as well, and finish him off all for a level on Mr. Glade there. So we'll continue over this way. We do have a Pachirisu right there exploring the life, and we have Jeremy here. So Jeremy, let's see if Scyther can take you on, even with 2 HP. We do have... um. Oh, a hound hour. That could hurt me. Okay, Swallow Blue. Here comes it out. Um, and we finished off Swallow Blue. Here comes out Deli Bird. He is a Deli Bird. Let's go for a Razor one and see what happens. Oh, how is the Deli Bird faster than me? Out of all the Pokemon he has, the Deli Bird's the one that's faster than me? That's bizarre. I, I'm actually kind of surprised by that. But yeah, so essentially what I want to do is if I could catch a, a Ghastly, I obviously want to catch an appropriate natured one. Like, this is one of those Pokemon where you can't really, if you either get a good nature, you don't go to get good nature. There's no real in between here. There, you can't, um, you, you gotta kind of get one that has increased special attack. Uh, th that's really your only option for that. So let's go wait for nighttime and look. So a rainy night is upon us, but that's okay because uh, we are gonna work towards finding one of these ghastlies now. Uh, we do have a, a hoot hoot. Who to tour are you going? I don't know. Um, oh, there's another, uh, there's another Heracross. Another Heracross, if I could talk properly. And, um, oh, Infernape's dead, so I'm not even going to bother battling him. All, all my good Pokemon are either not with me or kind of on the lower HP side of things. Um, we do have a Raichu there, though. And a few Executes. It was actually cool seeing Execute because I'm just not used to seeing them. Um, I don't have a flying Pokemon. I would like to kind of fly up and check things out from above. But um, again, I don't really have a flying Pokemon with me currently. But oh, I could do this, I guess. And try and surpass the tree line here. Um, I'm not seeing any any Gastlys. Uh, there's a Murkrow. I, I, I mean, I thought Gastlys were fairly abundant. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't think they were a rare Pokemon. Oh wait, I'm crossing to a birch forest though. That could be why. So let's see how good our parkour skills oh <laughs> let's see how good our parkour skills are. We're off to a horrible start. Uh obviously the rain is kind of screwing with it a little bit. It's it's really hard to like play with this rain for some reason. I can, okay, that was that was embarrassing. <laughs> so uh, let's go run this way instead. And I think it's because the FPS is like jittery with the rain. And um yeah, so let's continue on this way. We'll go travel deeper and deeper into the forest. 
and I don't see, I don't see any ghastlies yet, but is that, is that a fortress? I would totally catch the first evolution of those. Um, I have yet to really see a wild fortress, or like I've yet to like battle one of these guys. That's actually kind of cool. I think I want to battle him. Um, so let's take a Glade, because I don't even know what level it is. I'm trying to not jump out of the thing. That would be awesome. And okay, so that's a good level. So let's go uh, for Confusion. That does no damage. Let's go for a Slash instead. Okay, still does no damage. Okay, we're, I didn't need to run. I'll just switch into Mantine now, because it doesn't look like we're going to be able to kill him. So we'll just go for a Hydro Pump and finish him off. I think that was overkill. Oh, it gets Heal, heal Pulse. Oh, wait, I knew that already. And oh, I'll get rid of Lucky Chant. Um... I thought I saw like the first evolution or what might have been the first evolution of Fortress Fortress over here. Uh, I don't know what it's called though. <laughs> I forget, but it's that little guy. I forget what he uh, like actually is. Oh, there's a, there's a haunter. So we're on the right track. Um, okay. There's a bunch of haunters over here. So we just need some ghastlies now. And because I do want to level them up because they actually learn some pretty good moves early on and you have to make some uh, critical choices early on in um their learn set so we do have a hoot hoot over there as well um so we obviously know we're in the right place we just gotta actually find the ghastly itself because i don't i'd rather not uh you know just have one fly by me i don't know do I, I mean i could catch a haunter right I, oh there's one there's one perfect so that's a big ghastly too so that's exciting um don't fly away please let's switch to scyther who i'm going to give a moo moo milk so we could heal up really quick and there you go. So let's see where that ghastly go. That's a really big ghastly. And I did get into the battle with him. So he is level 22. So that's actually a lot. Um, we get false wipe. It doesn't affect ghastly. Oh crap. I forgot about that. We get wing attack. No. How did a wing attack do that much damage? Uh, it only has 40. Uh, whatever. So there's another haunter. Um, there's inev inevitably going to be another ghastly spawn. Oh, there's another one. I don't know, it's a Murkrow. Damn it, I was going to say, that's a small ghastly. But, uh, I, another one has to spawn, right? I think so. And actually, I, I should mention this. The next time you guys watch, uh, actually, maybe not. Uh, question mark? <clears throat> I don't see any. I, I, we only found one. I feel like that's not that. I feel like we would have found more. I mean, ghastlies are pretty, pretty common. And we have a few spinner racks around. We could just kind of wing attack them down. Um, I totally forgot I'm not going to be able to use uh, this dude on him, though. There's a, a hoot hoot, or a knock towel up there. There's a haunter. I mean, we could go for the haunter, I guess. Um, with Poopitar. I mean, do you think Poopitar will kill him? Poopitar will probably kill him, actually. Um, I guess we don't really have a choice, though, do we? So we could go for a... I don't know. Everything's going to kill him. Okay, that didn't. What? How did he die? Oh, he used curse and killed himself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, we need like a higher level gas. Wait, what is this guy saying? Um, what? I don't know. Um, okay. So let's continue on uh, this way. And okay. Uh, the day or the like the nighttime is running out so we got to kind of work fast here i think and i'm going to try and find i, I just want a ghastly why is it so difficult it's probably really dark too what is that oh it's a mr mime hmm we haven't really seen one of those there's a big raichu right there as well there's a lot of actually pretty high level pokemon but also not like any pokemon we actually want these are all like super abundant and common pokemon that we could just get that's because they spawn during the day None of the Pokemon we really are interested in are here right now, so that's kind of a bummer. So, um, what is that, another Mr. Mime? There's another Fortress over here. I mean, I could go for the capture on him uh, if he's not a super high level. Oh, there's a Ghastly. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm just going to battle on Poopitar. And we could do this. Uh, quick Ball. I mean, I do have a Master Ball if it really came down to it. I'd rather not use that, though. Uh, we actually have three Master Balls, so that is fortunate for us. And, oh, we might have just caught this one. Oh, we did catch Ghastly. I know he has a low catch rate, so that's awesome. That wasn't a shiny Mr. Mime, right? Like, I saw some particles coming off of him, but I'm going to try and catch a few more. I would like to, if at all possible. I don't want just one Ghastly. Um, I don't know if you see any more. Oh, that's the guy. Pinaco. That's who I want to catch. So, Pinaco, 
get away from these trees. And we're going to throw another quick ball at him. So let's just throw it at the first turn to uh, get our full catch rate. It's a pretty low level, so we should have a pretty decent chance. And um, we'll hopefully get him. And there you go. We got a Pineco. So let's teleport to New Home, and we'll see if we could if, or if we got any good natured ghastlies and stuff like that. I hope we did. I really hope we did, because uh, I don't want to try and catch another one, because it seems to be quite difficult. And we got. Uh, that's a bad nature. Uh, why me? So, and we have lowered. Oh, this is actually a good nature, though. Oh, this is actually a really good nature, I think. And he has bug bite and self destruct. Oh, crap. I may want to. That's a good natured Pinico. Like, that's a really good natured Pinico. Hmm. Maybe we put the ghastly stuff on hold and uh, focus on this. But nonetheless, I am going to end this episode here, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. I'm going to try and continue the search for an ice biome and catch that Sneasel. And then after that, I think we're going to do some training. And then we're going to do some more battling over the next few episodes. And a live stream later this week. Later this week. So look forward to that. As always, I thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.